uh, I've met over 110 programs for television. Over half of them have been shown on the BBC. I've got interviews with Nobel Prize winners on these issues, and I thought I'd just show you little bits from some of these, okay? Um, this is Koshiba, a Japanese Nobel laureate, and um, it, it's, it's really illuminating to talk to these people, as I have done. Um, is it fair for me to ask you what your beliefs are about a supernatural? It means God. Yes. I don't know. You know, science deal with only those things which you can confirm by observation or by experiment. God doesn't come into that category. Does this have religious implications for you? We are living in a totally ridiculous world. world. Yeah. We have all kinds of things of, uh, uh, from, from horoscopes uh, to Zen Buddhism to faith healers to religions to what have you. All kinds of things are going around in the world, and the world, generally speaking, including what politicians do and the kind. Of I, I'll just show you. They're all on the Vega site, and you can see them. Nine out of ten are atheists, for what it's worth, and you, lots of these things. I think we need a new approach, and I'm using the internet for outreach, an educational outreach. I call it global educational outreach. We've got to get to young kids. I think. As Daniel said, there's no point worrying about the guys who are already hardwired. We somehow get to get to young people. And we're using capture station technology, uh, which to really can go throughout the world. Basically, it's very inexpensive. We have a studio at Florida State, and I'm getting my colleagues to actually do something about this. Okay. Um, we're helping the teacher. And this, this is the site, geoset.info. Uh, we're hoping that others will do all the same. I haven't got time to show you some of the wonderful programs. This one is about one of my colleagues. He's 86, who said, if there were no penicillin, I wouldn't have a right arm. Okay, so I'm not only getting students and young people to talk about their projects. We're also developing a program. I'm part of the FCR, the Florida Center for Research in Education in Science, Technology, and Engineering and Maths. We're developing uh, sort of downloadable modules for teachers and video demonstrations of how to use it. In fact, let's forget about the fact that there are no teachers out there who can teach science. Let's send them the material. Let's work with what we've got. It's not going to change in the next 20, 30 years. Uh, algebra, I do little workshops for small, small kids on algebra. Basically, they have no problem doing this, okay, and, for, and, and writing down and getting used to equations and things of this nature. It doesn't matter where they are in the world. It's not a problem. We're sending the material down this way. It's globally accessible, so what we do in Florida is accessible around the world. I've done workshops, this one in Mexico. In two weeks' time, I'll be back in Mexico doing another one. This was a workshop in Malaysia. And this one's to Iceland on the Internet. I've done them also with Manchester United when I show this young women sometimes screaming, but unfortunately, it's not me on the right. It's the bloke on the left that they're screaming at, you know. I've done up to 3,000 kids throughout the whole of Australia on the Internet. This is the kids learning algebra in Iceland, from me in Florida. It's going all there. But Sheffield, Cambridge, Toyo University in Japan, probably in South Africa and also in China are in, aiming to set up the same sites. We can set off a chain reaction of educational programs designed to help teachers and show something about it. And we in the scientific community have the talent there because we speak an international language. This is only one. I, students from China and everywhere else have been in my group over the years. We have to look at global citizenship. We have to recognize that people like Alan Crotz probably would have deteriorated terribly in jail if he hadn't had something. I don't know what I, what I could say to him that it made it like. And science does it. We must link the humanitarian organizations. There, there's so many of them, but they're not working together. This is only one that I'm involved with. How can we use the internet to make sure that they can work together and synergistically make an impact. In the last couple of slides, basically, I, th I think this is a fantastic one. The hottest place in hell is reserved for those who, faced with moral crisis, maintain their neutrality. I think we're in that situation at the present time. Imagine if all that money spent 
on the Iraq war could have been spent on education in the Middle East. Instead of bombing the schools, why don't we bomb them with Meccano and erect a set, okay? Uh, so I think we must come out of this conference with a down-to-earth attitude. I think by the end of tomorrow, we've got to think of some real strategies. I've got my little one to try and help teachers wherever they are. And finally, always look on the bright side. Let's hope global warming gets us before they do. So that's, thank you very much.